So it is 8.30 at night right now. Um, I was just checking my emails and I have officially been assigned a therapist. So I'm really excited about that. I'm really nervous too. Like I feel like really anxious and like I might cry right now. I like, I'm just kind of overwhelmed. So, but I've been assigned a therapist. So it means I can start my online therapy and my assessments and my check-ins. So it's gonna be over a 12 week period. And hopefully after that, um, if the world opens up a little bit more and if I have the finances, I can actually find a therapist around here and go to actual therapy. Like, I mean, this is actual therapy, but go to in-person therapy and actually have a therapist that I choose as opposed to someone that's assigned to me. I don't know, baby steps. So I'm getting ready to go to bed here. But I did some online, um, like my therapy, there was more like online assessments to do. But this time it was like the original assessment to like get assigned a therapist and that you do like, kind of like on a scale of one to 10, how does this make you feel? Like, do you feel severely anxious, moderately anxious? Does it severely affect your day? Does it moderately affect your day? That kind of thing. So I did more things like that. And then also there were some things where it actually answered like, okay, like what makes you feel anxious? Why do you feel anxious? What do you find yourself doing when you are feeling anxious? Um, what do you, what comforts do you find when you're, when you're anxious? That kind of thing. Um, so, sorry, I'm holding my phone. So I did more of those to get a little bit better. And I, like, I have a, got assigned a therapist and spoke briefly to him. Um, so yeah, hopefully... Hopefully it all goes well. I haven't had an actual, like there's readings you do. So it's like understanding your anxiety and like where, what is anxiety and where does anxiety come from and that kind of stuff. So that's sort of how the next 12 weeks are going to go. Um, we're just focusing on my anxiety first because that seems to be the thing that's most uh, debilitating to my everyday life. And then we'll target whatever else next. So I haven't actually like sent like a message of like, my actual like I basically was just like yeah I agree we need to focus on my anxiety first I agree that that's like my biggest thing I need to target um but yeah we didn't really focus on haven't I haven't like messaged him being like here's like just how I'm doing and how I'm feeling kind of thing I just answered like the basic prompts in that so yeah anyway that's the update so far thanks all right so it's been like a week and a half since I've had my therapist assigned to me and I actually finally messaged him for the first time yesterday. I guess aside from my initial like, yeah, I have anxiety, blah, blah, blah. I like actually went on a little spiel about, cause like on one of my like self-assessment things, I said I was feeling like really low on the mood scale of like depression, anxiety, or whatever. It was like a mood scale thing. I said I was feeling low, so he messaged me being like, if you're feeling depressed or suicidal, I'll reach out, so blah, blah, blah. Like actually like a full like concerned message kind of thing. It's like, no, I'm not depressed. I mean, like, yes, I'm depressed, but I'm not, like, suicidal. I'm not, like, actively, like, suicidal or anything. I was like, but that's kind of when I opened up. I was like, but here's all the shit from when I was a kid, because I was. So, I don't know. I finally, like, I, I didn't, like, again, been, like, a week and a half, and I never actually sent him, like, a message because I was too anxious to message my therapist because I thought he would judge me. I need therapy. Do you see where I am? This is like 100% my vibe right now. Just, it's my vibe. Um, cognitive behavioral therapy is the therapy that I'm doing also. By the way, um, I did another self-assessment thing this morning. So I answered some more questions. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it. I just kind of been trying to update my therapy as I've been doing it for myself. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna hear back. Uh, it's a holiday tomorrow. Tomorrow's uh, Victoria Day. So I'm not gonna hear back from my therapist until um, Tuesday. So I'll probably have my last little update on Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday or whatever, and then I'll throw these little clips together and put them up at some point. Um, yeah, but yeah, cognitive behavioral therapy is what I'm doing. So today I had to take, like, answer, um, what is it I had to answer? <laughs> I had to say, like, a uh, time that made me anxious and like how I felt, what I, my behavior, my feelings, my thoughts, all that kind of stuff about it. So that's what I did today. And like it was funny because looking back on the specific s time that I said, I was like, I was so stupid to think the things that I thought. Like you can tell it's just anxiety, which I mean also means that either my medication's helping or the therapy's helping because I'm looking back on things and realizing I was an idiot for being anxious or being scared or nervous or whatever at that time. But hey. 
that's why we're doing this. Also, 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 follow me on TikTok, TikTok, wow, at Robin Marissa. <laughs> oh, YouTubes. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier in any therapy videos, but part of, oh, that's sunny. Part of the, um, what one of the things the therapist said to do is, uh, kind of treat anxiety like an allergy and to, what are you doing, Lily? Kind of treat, um, try and treat anxiety like an allergy and sort of like slowly do things to force yourself to be in like an allergy you would slowly eat like say you're allergic to peanuts slowly start eating peanuts to kind of help your body get used to eating peanuts um so with anxiety you slowly start putting yourself in social situations that maybe make you uncomfortable to help cope with your anxiety obviously covid makes that very difficult to do because nothing is open you're not supposed to be anywhere social you're not supposed to be like my dog i'm walking my dog and she just pulled my arm i'm not supposed to like meeting new people and stuff, right? So part of what I decided to do, um, because obviously I can't go be social and stuff, I'm fortunate enough to be still be working, so I'm not completely a hermit. Um, but what I started doing was I went onto Facebook dating. Not because I'm actually looking for a relationship necessarily, um, I'm open to the idea, but I'm just looking for something casual, if anything at all, even just friendship is fine. Um, but it's kind of just a way to start meeting new people and talking to new people, and I'm talking to a couple of people right now, just to get myself out there and be a little social do something different and yeah so that's what I'm trying and obviously I'm still doing these videos and again still in public I'm not around anyone at all I'm actually completely lost I'm on a trail I've never been on before I have no idea where I am and my phone's at like 40% so that's fun but yeah that's kind of I didn't know if I had mentioned that before and I figured that was kind of an interesting thing to put out there is that my kind of way of trying to cope with anxiety is to um join online stuff and oh there's the camera to join online stuff and start talking to people online and don't eat that don't eat that don't eat that um to start talking to people online um being you know outgoing on tiktok and stuff i don't know that's all yep don't know if this is going to be anywhere in any video at all i think i might put it in my therapy updates video all right thanks hey so i had started some uh like my weekly therapy already earlier in the week but um, this week is about SMART goals which is um, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic and time-oriented goals so of course there's like a module where you fill out, you do a reading and then you fill out like a bunch of questions and that kind of thing so the therapist sees where you're at the last goal is actually like setting um, so like the first part of the module is like using examples of when you have done it and how it's made you feel and how you've whatever coped whatever um, but like the last one is set a goal for yourself for the future using the SMART goals and like a, you know, a time frame, you use, use like five, five examples or something like that, I don't know. Um, and like, so I started this module the day, Lily, hold on. I started this module on um, the day I had it, like the day it was sent to me, and then that last question I've just left blank, so he messaged me on Friday, my therapist, and he was like, if you can't think of any goals or anything, like just skip it and come back to it, revisit it in another day. Um, so I was like, oh, I didn't know I could do that. So I s submitted that worksheet and I've moved on to the next one, but... I, it was nice that like he's like that is part of the process like if you can't think of an answer like that's fine it's 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 a process right so we can revisit visit it next week or in a couple of weeks I was like okay so that was nice that's a good little thing to have um yeah so that was just my little I'm doing my therapy right now I just wanted to update that because I only saw that message today it's Monday right now and he sent that message on Friday so and I started the module on Wednesday so that's all I've left it anyway uh doing my uh, finishing my therapy for this for last week and then I'll be having my more therapy on Wednesday again hi Clover and that's I also I slept with my mascara on don't fucking do that that's bad for your eyes bye hey guys so that's gonna be it for this therapy updates video um, I'm t am intending on doing a second part with some other stuff that I have coming up to do because there is some things I'm supposed to be um, documenting and journaling anyway so I think I'm gonna also have us like do that on my therapy thing therapy app as well as um, YouTube for my own documentation on top of my therapies, therapist documentation. So yeah, that's going to be all for this video, but uh, if anyone watches this, I hope you found it kind of interesting, me and my little bit of therapy journey over the last couple of weeks that I've started it, and I still got a few more weeks to go, so we'll just see uh, how much better I get. That's the, that's the goal, so all right, thank you for watching.